Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, we're going to have a look at the uh, the new planes in the uh, the shop. The 180-3, the uh, Polikarpov. See, I think I got that right. So, uh, brand new Soviet Warbird. So, you've got uh, the standard one. Well, you get the get it, and with it, you get the... So, it's a tier 5 fighter. You get 2,500 gold, 3 days premium. So, is it worth it? So, 14.99 for a tier 5. So, let's have a look and see how it compares. So, looking in on the specials, so we're 28% off. I just purchased this and we will have a look. So, 2,500 gold. So, looking in, 2,500 gold. We are looking £8.52 for that. Okay, so we've got that. £8.52, then 30 days premium. So, two of that, so that's about uh, 14 so you're looking £22 worth of goodies, even before you look at the fire extinguishers and the rest of it. So £22, and they're charging you uh, £12. Um, and then you get the additional items of the fire extinguishers, which is neither here nor there. So basically you're getting a free plane, collector's edition, for about £10 less than the individual cost of just the gold and the... Uh, and the and the premium time so um uh, it's a no-brainer so let's i'm just going to purchase this and i'm going to test it out and we'll see if it's a good plane or not well as a free plane you know it's any it's for, for free if it's useless you may as well just sell it get even get even more credits for it and then uh, work out with the uh, the rest that you get so uh, yeah I, uh, right now i'm thinking it's it's definitely a pause up even even more so if the plane turns out to be a good one. So uh, let's go and have a look. Okay, let's go in and have a look. Okay, we're getting in, so let's have a look. I-100-3. Welcome Gaming Bear and well welcome to World of Warplanes. So let's see just what we can do. It's being a bit slow because I've got a few programs running at the moment. So, oh, come on, you know you want to. Oh, I'm, I'm doing an Iron Man in the background on um, Heart of Iron. <laughs> Let's just close this to say. Oh, I, I apologise. I will have to turn some things off. It's really causing problems at the moment. No problems, my friend. We'll do. You review to do and switch. Okay, so it's not this one. I actually need to do it to do it on the F2 Buffalo as well. Thinking about it, I was I was lining up. I was just about to do the but the F2A buff, Buffalo. So should I do them both? No, I'll just do one. And uh, and then I'll then I'll come back and do this one. So bear with me. Let's go and find this new little new little plane, tier five, the one eighty three. Oh, that looks cute. It looks very similar to the the little German speed merchant. So um, we'll see what this is like. So first thing first, as always, let's put the basic equipment in get rid to never run without the basics we know that's the standard 11,000 you know I'm not going to put on any equipment so we can test it out I know I wish you know you should always put on equipment if you can but I always do these tests without so you were to get a comparable comparable view so we're looking at fighter so let's just look at fighters boom and I'm going to uh, do it against the so we've got uh, the BF on one side really really fast see where this actually ends up and on the other side let's go for the Spitfire Mark 1 and we'll see where this comes and then put it into uh, into position so we know where it is and then if we need to go for something a little bit um, more dogfighty then we can roll in the uh, the Japanese so initially survivability let's see what we've got 
So 2,400 kilos. It's very, very light. Low hit points, but it's got low weight. So they're similar. Maybe on the slightly low side. Gun armament, 158. Ouch. Uh, so, sorry, 156. Let's have a look and see how it uh, lines up. So two 7.62s and two 12.7s. So it's quite uh, quite punchy with the 12 uh, 12 mil. So it's like the 20 mil cannons, just not so much. So this is going to be spraying out bullets like nobody's business. So I, was, I would suspect it's a um, a close range monster, maybe 500 or so meter. Oh, looking there, I can just see the 500 meters. So uh, yeah, 500 meter is the major kill zone. And with eight, uh, 625 meters, I have problems with numbers sometimes. 625 meters, if I look quickly, it's because of my eyesight, I think. So, um, yeah, so you're looking 88 points out to 625. So, you well, let's just look at that quickly. So, 400 meters, you've got uh, f the full 100, 148, which isn't good. We'll see if there are any, any upgrades with this before we do that. So, any upgrades? No. So no upgrades. This is what it is. But for a free plane, you really can't uh, can't fault where it's coming from. So it's it's close range in your face. So let's look at the airspeed where we're coming with this. So we are looking 297. So that's nice. Faster than the Spitfire. Re uh, 100, well, 90 yet yeah, 90 or so less than the um, the ME. So yeah, it's it's but being better than the Spitfire at this level is not bad at all. Depends what the uh, the rate of climb and the rest. Rate of climb 48.6. That's exceptional. Stall speed 120, so it's got identical dogfighting ability because the stall speed is the Spitfire. So it's faster than the Spitfire, not as fast as the Messerschmitt. So it's somewhere so I would say it's not really a boom and zoom. So really what we need to uh, to compare it to. But well, we'll leave that there for now. Let's have a look. So uh, maximum dive speed, 680 with a Spitfire, 600 with this. So this is more of a climbing monster. It's not so much a uh, diving. Let's have a look. So then we come down to maneuverability. It's got better maneuverability than the Spit. So we are looking... 200 rate of roll. That's one of the best I think I've ever seen in a fighter. If, off the top of my head, I think that's the best. Wow. So, um, yeah, that that's exceptional. This is going to be a heck of a dogfighter. So it's got same average turn as the Spitfire, 8.6. I'm going to call up. So you can see the rate of turn on the Germans normally are higher. So you've got 130, but even better than the, uh, the Messerschmitt. A 200 degrees a second. That's just exceptional. That really is. Controllability is the best of all of them. So lowest with, is the, the Messerschmitt with 79. The Spitfire is 86. And even better, the Pol Polycarpov is 87. Its best altitude performance is 800 meters. Wow, this is going to be a dogfighting little nightmare, I would suspect. But your guns are underpowered, but I don't think that's going to be a problem because if someone's, if you're behind someone, they're dead. So it just might take you a little while to do it. So let's have a look at the uh, the Japanese side. Let's call up the A6 on the other side and see how it compares as we're looking dogfighting monsters. Let's call up the dogfighting monsters. So survivability. Let's just do a uh, straight comparison with these now so it's lighter than the Mitsubishi similar hit points that means that in comparison it's actually got more hit points than the than the zero which is very very nice gun armament so he's running 20s and two sevens so similar except you've got 12.7 so you your mgs will be filling the sky but it's closer range but you've got the speed and the maneuverability we think so let's check the comparison out between the two of them. So you've got 20, 25 more airspeed than the uh, the zero. So you can catch up to him and uh, and then start to uh, to dogfight. His stall speed is 90, yours is 120. So he can turn tighter than you can. 
Your rate of climb is three better, ju just under three better than his. Interesting. And this is basically the epitome of uh, of dogfighting. So we know that it outperforms a Spitfire. Now, turn time. He's got uh, 0.7 seconds better on you, but your rate of roll, his is only 100, yours is 200. So different style of dogfighting. And your controllability is the same. Your altitude performance is 800 meters, so this is your direct comparison uh, competitor. But you've got a plane which is able to get from place to place even faster than the Spitfire. So it's uh, it's it's an interesting pigeonhole. And getting back to the, uh, the is it worth it for a free plane? We're now going to see what it's like. So give me a moment. I just need to turn off some uh, programs in the background. Otherwise, it may be as glitchy as anything. So bear with me a second. Okay, before we get in, now I've turned everything off, let's have a look at the uh, the pilot side and see about putting in the standard uh, standard better pilot at the moment. So let's grab this part from the uh, the Yak 19 and have a look at the crew details, crew acceleration. Looking good, so we'll get in with him and see what we can do. So let's uh, get in first game, see what it's like, and so you, you get a 100% crew member for this. But as it's a premium plane, that's l less important, but it's nice to have that premium guy to start off. So I'll pause this and as we get in, so hold on. Right, let's see what map we're on, and then we can analyse where we are, what we're doing. Plateau, shockwave, okay, so we're in the uh, west side. Ford Airstrip or the mining strip. It depends which side we're on, whether we're uh, left or right. So that's going to be uh, quite cool. I've changed the screen because if uh, in the other one I sometimes, or I'm, I'm more often, bump the side and then I click off and I haven't got control of my planes. So it's it's a little bit dis do, <laughs> it it causes me Let's not to play at my best. So I'm, I apologise for the recording in the in the corner. So um, yeah, oh, I'm ex every time there's a new plane, I'm really Attention. really excited. You are entering the combat. Get ready for that looks nice. Okay, so we're on this side. Okay, a bit of wiggle. Wow, look at that manoeuvrability. Okay, let's get high. Let's get try and get some height. See if I can get up to 2,000 meters. Actually, that's they're going that way. I'm going to go and try and control the center. So, um, bit, first, thing, as it's a test, normally I'd, I'd try and cover one, one area, but let's get in. And uh, I, I want to see what this is like in a dogfight. Okay, I've boosted in because I want to try and get in as quick as I can now. 1800 meters, keeping an eye on what's coming in. BF 109, I want to get in on him. Bow fighter. Let's try and boost in. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I was, I was just about to. <laughs> enemy detected. Oops, Destroy we killed them too quickly. Let's try and get a bit of height. We've got uh, enemy fighters coming in. ME Get out of here, it's someone on my tail. Yeah, that was too much. I, I did a lot of damage to him, but I want to uh, to do better. Fix that. Oh, goodness. Sorry, too, too many of them, but we've controlled the centre. I apologise for that. So you can tell the turning is a, a little bit twitchy, because it, it does things in a different way. Very, very interesting to see. Right, let's get in and see what we can do from here. It doesn't feel like the normal fighter because its characteristics are different. Two thousand meters can what it likes as an interceptor. Boosting in, I'm catching up with them. So two thousand uh, the bomb bombs are away. Okay, so you can just 
catch up with uh, with everything that's going on. Let's see what it's like as an interceptor. You saw coming in behind that uh, the 110, it was a little bit uh, a bit weak. So actually, I'm I'm going to go in for the centre, cover the centre, get more into more dogfights. But you can see side to side, very very quick uh, turning. So get in on these guys, the BFE3. Change of target. Okay, see what we can do. I like that uh, that look on the foils. Oh dear. Oh goodness. Nicely done by them. So the yeah, the uh, it needs assistance with the uh, the dogfighting ability. It's it's slightly lacking. But I feel that overall it it feels like it should be able to do better. Even though the t I, I was out fight at dogfighting the the Spitfire or just a tiny bit better, even though we've got the same abilities, and he's he, he's probably enhanced to uh, uh, all the way. So let's get back in. So you need to have something to enhance the uh, the ability of this. So you need something to make it a little bit stronger, so you can actually uh, get in and deal with those uh, those heavier planes. Because I was being ripped to shreds by the rear gunners, so that's one issue. The uh, but I feel because the the pace of it, you could do, you could do fine to get get up close and just bring those guns just constantly firing in behind someone, as long as you're able to uh, to. So let's see what this is like, and see if that hypothesis is ready. So this is just more of a testing thing, testing different things. Not always the way I would have played from the beginning. And whenever anything seems to get in front of it, it's uh, that's boosting behind him. So there's a little bit of an issue with catching up to him. You need something to enhance your speed. It's just enough, but you need something to give you that little bit extra boost. Otherwise, the planes will be getting away from you. Your guns just seem to keep firing, which is really, really nice. They don't seem to overheat. You're, you have no problems. Tiny bit there. Oh, what? Way to go! Victory is close. Ah, so his rear guns must have just caused a catastrophic failure. He must have just blown something up, and that's it. Me gone. Okay. So you, yes, you you need something to give you that little bit extra toughness to prevent that from happening. So, like I was thinking, it might be a little bit frail, but it's it's not as frail as I suspected. So yes, it's it's got that toughness and ruggedness of the the Russian fighters, which is really, really nice. You can just about uh, catch up with there, uh, with um, and go in an interception roll as well. Your guns, I, I thought that the firepower would seem as though it's down, but no, it's just not as high as it could be, but it doesn't feel underpowered gun-wise, which I, I thought it might be, but it isn't. That, that four, 400, four to 500 meter range, oh no, shucks. 2,400. Eh. But it was a good demonstration of what this what this is like. So let's have a look. What did I make straight out of the box? And uh, so what sort of credits does it make without any equipment, without anything? And then knowing what it needs. So you need you do need more in that dogfight. You really, really do. And as I really want to show it, I'm going to put that equipment on, test it out, after we've seen what we made. So, uh, 29,000 credits. 
but you know, for a free plane, it's it's not bad. So as you saw, so let's see, how do we do? Team score. No, really, I would hope to be up here. It just didn't quite, even though it was a tier six game, when you get on someone's tail, you're ripping them to pieces. So we want to get some nice equipment in. I, I would normally stop it there, but I want to, to do, I, I, I like, Ah, there's something about the potential of this. I, I like what it can potentially do. So, lightweight airframe. Give it that additional mobility. It really needs it. The same as control surfaces. Now, normally you wouldn't need to do this on a Russian plane. And I just feel like it's... Well, it, it just needs that. Engine tuning. Guns seem good. But I've got a feeling that the addition... that. A little bit extra air power. I, I'm thinking either additional hit points, less chance of criticals. I'm thinking, well, because of the explosions, I'm I'm going to go for the improved coverings. That little bit extra hit points. So uh, see see what that's like. You've got a couple of options there. So thinking about it, what is the best? Well, we were having pro we wouldn't have exploded probably if we'd had that the improved covering so for longevity to be able to kill more people to stay in the battle not having to respawn i'm thinking the the covering is the best option i would like to have gone for engine tuning but we haven't so let's get in with the second game and see what this is like okay we've got the same map but we're on the opposing side so let's see what this is like see if we can stay in the battle longer see what it can do and see if it if, if it lives up to the potential of being able to be an exceptional fighter with those you mods are approaching the area of combat operations be ready okay why thank you so let's see see what we can do will the will this turn into an absolute dog fighting monster let's do this see where we are see what's closer okay we're slightly on the left we'll go for the repair and no, actually let's go and take the center take this take the center and uh, then work from there get into the dogfight from the beginning excited bear <laughs> still excited it's fantastic Show me what you can let's get do, high pilots. That engine would have been nice to be able to be, be up with those faster planes moving up. But I want to get in as quick as I can, so I'm boosting. You'd say, oh, don't boost, gaming bear, don't boost. Well, it'll help me to, uh, to get into the fight as quick as I can. And that's the reason. So I'm trying. I'm going for a bit of height. I want to try and get up to about 1,800 metres. And then just take it to them. So I've got that little bit of height. So I'm transferring boost for additional height to give me more speed in the combat. And as they're gaining height as well, so we've got the FW. I'm up with the PG, the, the uh, 38J. Okay, time to go in. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that feels really nice. Okay, boosting up. He's already gone. Wow, this feels incredibly nimble when it flips over. Okay, it's going on the XP-44. He's trying to get away, but he can't. That's nice to see. An American plane, and you're hunting it down. Very, very impressive. He's almost gone. He is gone. Ground attack planes incoming. So we'll see what it's like. Go for the German first. Oh, ho, ho, yeah, definitely the guns are good enough. This just chews through anything that's in front of it. Those mods have made a significant difference. Let's go and help over here. Wow. Yeah, just wow. I've got chills just playing this. Yeah, now nah, it, it's for a free plane. It's a very, very good free plane. <laughs> Wow, I've got, I've got, I have chills um, of my my arms right now. I know that sounds weird, but uh, I'm just, I'm so excited because this is so good. It was not good enough without those mods. You need the mods.
And this is the thing, you can choose where you're going to fight, because you've got that additional speed, which is so useful. Let's get in on that. Let's try and kill the... Okay, he's gone. Let's get the yak. Now, normally you'd think... Cool. Someone on my tail. Store warning. Let's get out of here. I'm getting out because I'm, I'm going to die. Let's get in. So let's get uh, get covered. Let's get repaired. That's it. That's back in operation. Let's get under here. And there we go. Okay, he's gone. Cool. Let's work for the other zones. You've got some very neat... It, it didn't seem slow on the dive, but we know it is. So, see what we can do. So, we're still on one single sortie. And points-wise, 1,760. So, I was, you sort of hope to be about 2,000 for a good um, a good plane. You, you know you're doing all right with uh, 2,000 points per sortie. I'm going to circle round, try and gain a bit of height. I'm not hiding from the battle, I'm just circling to gain that height to try and get up to about 1500 metres. To be more useful to my buddies. More planes incoming. So be at the 110E, see if we can take him out. He's starting to pull away. You've got AA cover, AFR coming in. Bit of a boom and zoom situation. It's not good against AA. Okay, try and come in behind him. Oh, I got hit by air defence. I was just starting to come in behind him. You're susceptible to uh, to air defence, so watch out for that. You're you're you still have that problem. You saw that that just wiped out my health just completely. So, that was a little bit disappointing, but, um, well, it is what it is. So, let's get in, push it up. So, you don't want to be going over zones like that on your own, where everything's going to be targeting you. So, I always stay, even though, if I, say in a Spitfire, I wouldn't have had to worry so much, because it's tougher. This is still vulnerable, even with... That you need that additional hit points like I put on. Otherwise, we would have been dead by now, uh, earlier in that, and wouldn't have got up to that 1,800 points or whatever it was. So, you've got the ability to get up to that level, to de and you've got the ability to deal with any, any plane, really, at any height, which is quite exceptional. To have that additional speed above that of a Spitfire, anything which has better speed than a Spitfire is good, you know? and to be as mobile the airfields are ours we've got the enemy fantastic contained. oh they've gone now let's look for enemy real enemy planes you guys let's boost in he's being chased the enemy there let's go for the fw 190 so we're coming in we're coming in on him He's tried to boost Hang away. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, Let's go for him. So he's, you know, you, you just, whatever's there, you just chew through them. The guns are not underpowered at all. The ME's trying to get away. Let's get in his tail. Like someone coming in from the left, you've got to watch out for. He's gone. You little buddy. Victory is in sight. Keep it up. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Very, very nimble. Very good at ground. We have complete groundwork. Way to go. Under, under. Dodges shots. The storm is too heavy. I could have killed him, but I'd have risked taking more damage at that point. Oh, I wanted to fight against that. Now, 3,000 points. 
If it had been a long game, we won too quickly. Otherwise, it would have been four, five thousand points, maybe more. So let's have a look at the earning potential. This feels really, really good. And for a, for a free plane, even if you take the plane into consideration, you're getting more than what this package costs you. So this is this is one of the best packages and best deals I have seen. So this has got to be a, at least a four star deal overall. So four paws from the bear. You know, I've only ever once given a five out and this this is close to a five. But this is I'm this is blinking good, you know? So forty four thousand credits, eighteen hundred experience, eight hundred points, let's have a look. Very, very nice. And uh, supporting fire. It's a very neat free plane. So I would have hoped well we're basically just below the uh, the levels of the of the tier six. We're, we're we're in the middle of the tier six. It's only the bow fighter, which is uh, overpowered. Anyway, a couple of bow fighters, same platoon, working together. They would always be bumped up. So this would normally be up about there. I would suspect if it was only because we did so well and killed them so quickly that this did, wasn't able to show how well it did. So which is hands up for the team doing so well. So, uh, Pow China, Medulla, uh, Nactis, Gehachtis, <laughs> Bere CCVVW, uh, Tommy from Adel, and Rouserman, very, very good, Unke Tenje, Cadman, Jani, what, 1952, Kerwin, and uh, Rainier, all really really good teams and on the opposing team it didn't feel like you know even though the, the scores showed that it was really really that, that we won hands down the opposing team played out of their socks as well you know and uh, they, they kicked it out out of the, the park but we our team was just that little bit better but they played really well so uh, Corona, Katalakigzik, uh, Invasion 7, Pinek, Merlin, Gorona, Walter, uh, Ride 007, Verstein, FTG Geo. You know, look at these scores right the way down for Ta Taras and uh, Eisenschwein at uh, th 3462. You know, these are not bad scores. These are, you know, really, really good scores. And you can see these two could uh, probably bots. Everyone else, by the look of the scores, could work. I'm not sure about this one. But maybe and Walther. I, it's difficult sometimes, without numbers and unusual things in the names. It's difficult to tell. Well, it's, it's mostly easy to tell, but it's difficult to say, say. Are you a real person? But these guys did overall incredibly well. But Pow China did with ten and a half thousand points, really in, exceptionally well. And Medulla, very very well. So back to this. The I-180-3. Is it a good plane? Yes. It's a very good plane. And it's an even better package. So plane-wise, uh, out of a dogfighter, I, I like more of a dogfighter. And for anything, it's, it's like a Spitfire. Not quite as hardy, but with a bit more speed and in other ways a little bit more nimble so you know that's not a bad thing at all really isn't in its own right it's a very nice little fighter plane so two levels as a very nice little uh, fighter plane i would give it a two maybe three stars as a as a plane in its own right but as a as a deal as an overall deal from wargaming this has got to get a four pause a four star for this deal because you've got this very nice little plane free when you buy this package so thank you wargaming and thank you guys for watching i'm the gaming bear and this is the i180-3 bit of a mouthful but it's quite a bit of a plane and as a package it's it's immense so see you on the next one thank you guys see ya